In this video, I am going to build the best possible team from scratch. To do this, we are going to take this bronze star team and build up the overall. This will require us to play solos, open quite a bit of get a player packs, and then my favorite is going to be working the auction house and adding some sets to build a great team. To challenge myself in this video, we are only going to use 12 hours of playing time. I'm going to show you that you can build a god squad without spending any money on the game. Building a god squad in Madden without spending any money seems like a tough task, but with the right solos, you can get a really great start on building a good team. The first thing that we did was jump into the campaign solos with our bronze team so we could pick up our team captain. We decided to go with Jack Youngblood and get him all the way powered up to a 97 overall. While playing these campaign solos, we were earning coins and other packs by leveling up and using those coins to purchase 20 get a player packs at a time so we can have a full auction house. After we finished the campaign solos, we chose our team captain and then we also were able to select our season champion. We went ahead and we grabbed Pat Firemouth, okay, so as our tight end 89 overall that we could upgrade as we level up as well. Then we jumped right into the Black History Month solos and the reason we went with that was because you were able to earn free 88 overall players that would definitely fit on our bronze team. First you get their 88 overall player and then you can earn their 93 by completing just, just objectives in the game. So for example with this Lamar Jackson we completed that to get a 93 Lamar Jackson. All you need to do is accumulate 2,500 offensive yards and so on and so on. You can see right there. So very very easy to get free 93 overall players on your squad. After adding all these players onto the team we were up to a 73 overall and we're just getting started. I had really big plans for this next part. In between solos, I kept opening more get a player packs. I was pulling a few platinum cards, which definitely helped build that coin stack so we could get into the bigger coin making methods later on in this video. But we jump back into new solos. Here's something that a lot of people don't realize, but the ultimate legend solos are probably one of the best to do in the game at the moment. For every ultimate legend sequence you finish, you are able to earn either a 92 overall player or a 93 overall player. That is actually huge for anyone that's no money spent and needs some of these upgrades, especially for some positions that you don't have upgraded. The most important part of these ultimate legend solos though is that you're working towards picking up 10 collectibles that you can use to get a fantasy pack with either 97 or 98 ultimate legends in it that you can either sell or put onto your team ultimate legend career edition fantasy packs so we got three choices they are not end cat you can sell them we're looking for a 98 at least first card on our team is going to be this chad johnson possibly 97 really good wide receiver we can definitely use that Let's go this way, 97 overall, Eric Dickerson, which is a, again, another good item, but we still want that 98 in case we want to sell it. Going to be, I think that was a 98. 98 William Perry, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so this is a tough choice. Do we go ahead and take the 98 because it sells for a little bit more, or do we take a 97 wide receiver or a 97 running back. We are going to go with William Perry. As I completed all these Ultimate Legend solos, it took a little bit of time, but it was definitely worth it in the end because we are picking up level rewards, we are picking up packs, coins, and our coin stack was growing quite a bit. At this point, I started to do some coin making methods where I would take anything that we got from the get a player packs or any of these level reward packs and build team builders and sell those because of the team champions. People really want the team champions and you need team builders to build them. I needed a really good cornerback so I decided to go ahead and do the final force because the reward was a 97 overall Nat, Nate, Hobbs and his power up item. From completing the forge, we were able to get some nice packs. We got an 83 plus elite pack, a pro fantasy pack, a gridiron pack, and then we got the main card here, 97 overall Nate Hobbs. Starting off with our elite player, 83 plus, it's going to be, we need a really good card here. It's going to be a veteran, 88 Joe Hayden. Not the card we wanted, but honestly, we'll definitely take that. Moving on to our gridiron packs. 
potentially could get some good items out of this. We really need some high overalls. Okay, 82. Mm, 86. Okay. Okay, first pack, not the best. But we'll use these cards for other sets like we've been doing in the past with those team builders. Second round. Oh, big elite. 87. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Oh, whoa. Just hit a 95 Marshawn Lynch. Let's go. All right, not bad. Gridiron pack. Definitely gonna be running back number one for us. Moving on to the next pack here. Again, anything we get from these packs will go into sets and make some more coins. You can see our coin stack is up to like 300,000 at the moment. You could definitely use some more. Last pack is gonna be this pro fantasy pack. We need some 85s. We need some like 83s. We just need any kind of elite so we can continue to build those team builders and get that coin stack up so we can buy some players for our team. All right, this pack was okay. Got some 85s in it though, so we'll take that. I decided to hit the best team available to generate the best lineup and we hit a 90 overall to my surprise. Our offense is looking pretty solid. We have a few holes. We definitely need a good left guard, a good right guard. We need a couple more receivers, but I have a couple solos in mind that I want to use to get a free right guard. All right. And then on defense, we have a couple of holes that we need to fill as well, but we have almost 400,000 coins. So we are going to start making some purchases, but first we're going to jump into some solos. Jumping into some free agency solos, there's a player in mind that I want, but we had to play these solos. Though I played a bunch of solos. This took a little bit of time. All right, we're closing in around like that nine hour mark so far of playing time. So we still have a, a, a few more hours left on this challenge, but we are coming together pretty nicely with the team. Leveling up as we continue to beat these solos and we're up to 430,000 coins. Just completed our last solo, so we have this 95 overall NCAT free agency fancy pack, and let's open it. As you can see, we're opening it. It's, it's they are NCAT, so we can't sell it, but we are taking Brandon Scherf right guard to add to our team. With the 400,000 coins that we had, I decided to go ahead and buy a wide receiver, and we went with Charles Woodson. 96 overall. We spent 94,000 coins on a 96 overall Charles Woodson wide receiver. We then went ahead and grabbed a 40,000 coin left guard Andrew Norwell to the team. We went ahead and added those two players to the team, getting us to a 92 overall so far. And then we made some adjustments to the defense. We went with this eight, 96 overall Adrian Amos strong safety. And we went ahead and grabbed this Jerome Baker for 43,000 coins. We also grabbed this 96 overall Vaughn Miller for 100,000 coins. I decided to hop into a few more combine solos so we could pick up the 94 overall tight end Noah Fan. We also have a few extra packs here to open. We have this 86 plus combine player. Probably not going to do too much, but we will sell it for coins. Going to be an 88 middle linebacker, so we'll take some coins for that. For some reason, we keep getting these Mutt Miss ornaments. So I have this 92 overall house rules player that I put two ornaments in for. All right, it's an end cat. And we're probably going to go ahead and get this Cordero Patterson cornerback for a like a backup. We are going to go ahead and hit that generate best lineup. We're getting at, we're at a, currently a 93. Can we push forward to a 94? Not quite, but we did add that Noah Fant to the team. We have the 93 Najee Harris, okay? And we have a pretty good defense as well. Also going to buy one last 96 here. We have 122,000 and we are going to use three 96 overalls to build this 98 overall Calvin Johnson. He will be joining the team. It's going to be a 98 overall. And we get three cards back as NCAT. We're going to take Leo Collins. We are going to go ahead and take DK Metcalf. And then we're going to stay with Adrian Amos as our strong safety. I decided to make one last upgrade to the team. I threw in my Marshawn Lynch. I got, I bought two other ones for about 140,000 altogether. So we're going to be adding 97 overall free safety, Ronnie Lott. And we also get back a couple players as 
and Cat. We're going to take Marshawn Lynch back as our number one running back. We will take Devin White because I did sell our 96 overall left outside linebacker Vaughn Miller for these cards. And then we're going to go ahead and take Linvel Joseph to finish up our D line. Once we generate the best lineup here, it's going to give us an overall of 94. And you can see our offense right now, really solid. But we didn't really make a huge upgrade there, but we did make upgrades to the defense. We have Ronnie Lott and Divine Diablo. We have, we have our left outside linebackers ready to go. We got our linebacker positions good. And we have a solid D line. We just built a solid 94 overall team in just 12 hours of playing time in Madden. Although it was over a couple days, it was only 12 hours of actual playing time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the video where I turned 100 Easter eggs into a full team. And make sure to sub down below.